Alright, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily make transitions for your own YouTube videos. Pardon me for not wearing a shirt. It is super hot where I live right now in Vancouver. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly give an explanation before I get all the comments on me to put a shirt on. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys do enjoy. And uh, leave me some video ideas down below for a future tutorial on the channel. I hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys on my PC. Alright guys, so I am in DaVinci Resolve, which is the software I'm going to be using for this video. And if you want to download it, all you got to do is just go to DaVinci Resolve Download go to their website and you could easily just download it from here uh, they have 18 on the website but I currently use 17 because there is a lot less bugs and glitches in the software 18 just recently got released so obviously there's gonna be some problems initially so uh, I'm just gonna let it be for a month or two before switching so all we got to do for this I'm gonna just be showing you transitions quickly what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in a clip here and then I'm gonna go to my timeline and I'm actually gonna change the frame rate to 60. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna get some sort of clip right here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be Fortnite. It can be whatever, honestly. Uh, for me, it is Fortnite. This could be just normal footage of a YouTube video. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna find kind of a midway point wherever I wanna have my transition and I'm gonna actually split the clip there. And then right after that, I'm gonna go down here to uh, open effects. And, I'm, and then right after that, I'm gonna come out down here to effects, drag in an adjustment clip over top of this kind of separation right here trim it down a bit and then I'm going to go into fusion from there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press control and space at the exact same time on my keyboard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in or I'm gonna search up transform so this one right here and I'm actually gonna connect it to this point right here so I'm gonna go one frame back from the middle point and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna drag the size to something like let's say 0.5 this is going to be a zoom in transition and then I'll go to the next frame after that and I'll change it to 1.5 and this is with keyframing these values right here. So we have the two keyframes right here, these two values and then let's say 20 frames after. So right here, I'm going to change the value back to one and then if I go to this frame, I go to here and I change it also to one and then I'll change the edges to mirror. So that way it looks like transition like this. And we can see that it kind of does the transition we're looking for, but not really. So right here, if you don't have your spline open, just click on the spline button right here, press this arrow thing right here, and we can see this right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Control A, then we're gonna press S, and I want you to copy this graph right here. So if you ever lose it, you can just press the arrows button, which will reset it and reset the graph. And you're gonna wanna go for something like this. Let me play it back. Let me know. We can see the transition is super clean and it's a nice little zoom out transition right here. So uh, what I did right here at the two middle values is I did opposites of each other. So I did 0.5, the opposite of 0.5. Since that's going to be zoomed out, we had to do a zoomed in value. So I did 1.5. So if we want to do the opposite of that, all we're going to do is we're going to change the first value to 1.5. And then right after that, we'll change the value to 0.5. And then what we'll do is just we'll correct the graph here. So I'll bring that down here. I'll bring this one down here and then just like that we have the exact same but it's a zoom in transition which is kind of cool to see um, just depending on what you're going for and then the last kind of transition that I'm going to show you is like a motion transition like left to right up to down so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of these keyframes here and we're going to stick with one so all we got to do is we've got to find our midpoint again go into fusion and what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the center so the center value we're gonna do for this is honestly something like one on X. And then if we go back a frame, we're gonna change it to negative one. So something like that should be good. Let me just do negative one. And then all we gotta do, this is a left to right transition just so you guys are aware. And then I'm gonna go back 20 frames like we did before. Right here, I'm gonna change this back to 0.5. Nope, not that 0.5 and this one's gonna be 0.5. So just kind of the standard Values right here and then we're gonna go 20 frames after again Changes to 0.5 and then we're gonna select all these right here and what you're going to want to do for this You know control a s and That is the transition right there and it needs to be a bit eased So what you can do is you can select these two and zoom them in and you can Kind of make that a lot sharper and ease this one in a bit. And that is the left to right motion. I guess, yeah, kind of a swipe. Just a nice little 
swiper there and then obviously you could reverse the values if you want to go uh, the opposite direction and then do the same thing with Y values if you wanted to go up to down or down to up and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you do basic transitions in DaVinci Resolve for 100% free you don't need any plugins don't need any add-ons but that is about it guys I hope you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe if you guys did enjoy and um, yeah I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out